There's many women that complain about the fact that there is no longer that many romantic men, you know, they aren't getting the romantic experiences that they want. But one of the things that guys try to tell women is that guys didn't kill romance, feminism did. And we're going to see proof of that in this video as we react to Piers Morgan speaking with a feminist who basically thinks that chivalry is sexist. So let's see. Why is it remotely patronising for a man to open a door and say, please, ladies first? I'm all in favour of good manners. I have two teenage daughters myself, myself, and I spend a lot of time telling them to be polite. And I've got absolutely nothing against people giving up the odd seat or being kind of generally well-mannered. Mm. Where I think that the ladies first thing becomes quite patronising, and certainly a younger generation of women really think so. I did a kind of straw poll in my office yesterday. And before we listen to her, you know, say her ridiculousness, uh, the reason why a young woman would be more likely to say that is because they're impressionable so they're more likely to be pumped up and programmed by the feminist agenda and the younger women feel really passionate about it is because they feel it comes with a whole load of other assumptions mm. so the kind of man who might go ladies first or pull out your chair or um, very much pay for dinner is kind of expecting something back it's an attitude Why? Why would you think that? it's an attitude towards women that women are You're just being a gentleman no it's an attitude that they think women are rather kind of fragile, delicate vessels that might break if they're not kind of looked See, after in a very careful way. And that is patronising to a, young, okay. a load of younger women. In they the... feel they should be treated as equal. And do you see how this mindset actually encourages men to, uh, to just um, not step up for a woman and to encourage her to be in her hardness? Many women want to live in their softness. So the soft state is a fragile state. And if a man had that mindset and he said, you know what, I'm gonna protect and take care of her so that I can maintain her delicacy, then that would be a wonderful thing for her. That is literally why, you know, many women like gentlemen. But this is also why the feminists are crazy. In this modern day world where there's so much terrible things going on and we're all so busy, I think it is so refreshing and delightful for someone to actually take the time and open the door for you. It's nothing about belittling someone else or looking down on someone. It's about being, having manners, just, you know, but it's being about polite. intention. It's about, it? it, it's about power yeah. and it's about what the expectation is on women. Not at all. And the kind of women who love that are often the kind of women who very much define themselves through a male gaze, who define themselves by how men will think oh, of them. Oh, don't and me. Listen, listen, and they listen, like, listen, they listen. like on, the idea on, that a man's going to do that for them. Every day, I have some lovely uh, women in our makeup department. Yeah, who, but just that phrase is pretty patronising Some lovely women. So you can't even tell a woman that she's lovely anymore, according to these people. You know what, what I guess, what should we call them? We call them something negative and then they get sensitive over that, but you, if you call them something nice, you can't even say that. What, what do you say? <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry for calling the women lovely in the building. I'm so sorry. This is getting crazy. Some, uh, You've been on this program. Oh, on. Oh, no, this no, is no. how it goes. It's Eleanor, 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 would you can say you, some can you tell men? You how wouldn't. do I describe the people who are in my makeup department? What do I call them? They're fantastic. They're professionals. They do a great job. They made me look a lot better this if morning. If I'm referring to them now, what can I call them? What, lovely women? If they were a group of men, But they are lovely women. Yeah, but that that does. And when they make me look slightly less horrific for television, We're all I always say, I them. always say, <laughs> as a matter of course, thank you, ladies. Right? Is that yeah. offensive? Am I offending them? Am I expecting something in return? Am I exercising a power play, it, or am I simply being? chivalrous and gentlemanly like polite to younger, lovely women. Younger women really hate being called ladies. They'd rather be called women. Let me women. tell you, nobody in that maker room, I can guarantee, I can pull them out here now and say, what do you think? None of them is going to have any problem with me ever exactly. saying I, thank you, ladies. What I'm saying to you is so that a lot of younger women really do Some of them are younger it, women. And they find, it really, they find it really offensive. I think you're speaking without well, knowledge of what a lot of young women think. No, it's absolutely not true. If you look at the mum's net discussion where this has really mm -hmm. kind of come up, and if you talk to a whole lot of younger 20-somethings, they really feel wrong. passionately about I think it. You're very and they wrong. feel it's part of the bigger conversation that's going on around say, Me two Too and chauvinistic attitudes in society. Mm. And you know one of the reasons why you can always criticise feminists is because they don't actually support, listen or encourage other women. So there are actually two women that are on that panel and she's not listening to them. Like we have, the, you know, she's talking about, oh, other, other, we can't, 
you know, she could just be saying that, but we have proof right here of what women think because they're on the panel and they don't actually agree with her. They see that she's, you know, she's, she's taking it too far. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? And it's never coming from a hyper place when you're coming from, um, it's never coming from a healthy place when you're coming from that hyper place. And that's what we're seeing. But we're going towards the, you know, place in society where according to these people and because of these people, we won't even be able to treat women nice anymore. And then they're going to complain when they're treated badly. But, well, treating them nice is patronizing. And what is treating them badly? And then you might say, well, just treat them neutral. What kind of colorless lack of vibrancy type of world would we be living in, <laughs> you know, when that's the case? But um, one thing you know, you can bet on, is that this won't hold. You know, this mindset is doomed to fail. So all we have to do is wait until it gets flushed out of the system because eventually it will. Eventually it will. It's not going to lead to a good place. That I can guarantee you. But anyway, I want to know what you think, right? So comment down below, let Reuben know, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.